<laughs> oh my god. Guys, Dre here, and welcome back to the beautiful Trailmakers. Today, obviously, you're not seeing a creation in front of us. That means we're doing another build episode. And I was thinking about what we haven't really seen in this game too much. And to my knowledge, nobody's made a paddle wheel boat. That is a boat that is propelled with paddles. There's probably a couple out there, but uh, I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could do it because this game's got some pretty crazy physics in it. Sometimes they work really good, other times they do really weird things. So from what I've seen, when it comes to pushing through the water, it's very difficult. So I think this will be a challenging build, and I'm going to probably try and build two different types of boats. First of all, I'll try and build a realistically looking paddle wheel boat, and then I just want to see how fast we can go with this design and make like a drag racer on the water. So that's the plan today. As per usual, I go into this not knowing about what I'm going to do, and we just let it happen and see what happens. So uh, this first one's going to be a nice slow paddle wheel boat, and we'll see if we can actually build it. All right, so first things first, I'm going to try and make a nice little base here. Uh, let's pull down to one brick, and then we're going to widen this by one right now. I want to make sure this is pretty wide so it actually is more stable in the water, because if it's thin, from what I've found in boats in this game anyways, thin boats are very hard to stabilize in this game, as in the real world, obviously. So that's going to be a nice platform there. Let's put our cockpit on somewhere. We'll probably keep this thing hidden. So, so let's try out this cockpit seat. Not that uh, this is a plane or anything, but again, this will most likely be hidden anyway. So we're just going to put this somewhere in the middle here and uh, start building around. What I want to focus on is the underside hull. Okay, that should be good. There we go. And that is going to definitely float in the water, at least for right now. Now, I'm going to try and make this thing actually look like a hull, but I want to make sure it sinks. So I might actually put some weight on the bottom. That way it stays weighted down so we don't flip upside down because that's a common thing I do in this game. And I don't really want that to happen. So let's get building this hull a little bit more. We're going to... I wish there was a three block because I don't want to go any deeper than that, but uh, we have no choice. So we're just going to go all the way down with these and then start going in on this. All right, so there we go. We squared off the hull, and we have some space in here to add some stuff later on if we do want to. Like I said, more weights. And now we're going to start making an incline on this. So we're going to go to the aerodynamic blocks. There should be... We got these wedge-shaped blocks here. The large wedge, I think that's going to be... Ah, we might actually be able to use that. All right, hull is slowly coming. I'm just kind of refining it, going down further and further. We're going to keep doing this. Can I actually... Oh, it's going to connect to that. That's fine. we got to bring that over there like so... Uh, this is just going to be a connection point. I think we're going to put one more wedge on this. I wonder if we should do the smaller wedges. Let's go to the aerodynamic block, see what we have to use here. Like, we could try these long wedges and connect them together. I think that would actually look pretty damn cool. Let's see what this if these even will connect. Yeah, unfortunately, that's going to be too long. Uh, that would have been great to use, though, because if we just would have had two more spaces here, we would have been good. So what about... Uh, we got the small wedges. These... Uh, this might actually work. You know what? That might be good. And then we can just add a little flat spot at the bottom of the boat. Because I think that will look really good. So there we go. We got that there. I guess we could have used the wider one, but it doesn't really matter. The blocks don't break off generally anyways. And there we go. All the way to the end. That looks great. That's going to look really good once it's in the water. I haven't made many realistic looking creations in Trailmaker, so that's kind of what I'm challenging myself to do today. So obviously our buoyancy is all the way up here. Let's just make sure this isn't too heavy because this is... I've never really built a big craft in this game, so we just want to make sure this will be good in the water. So we'll save it and we'll do the first float test here. So let's see what happens when we let it go. Loading in. Perfect. That should hopefully stay and that's how a boat should look like in the water have the buoyancy just above the deck and i'm excited now that looks really really good obviously we gotta add a front and back to this thing and add the big paddle wheel that i don't even know if it will work or not but uh i'm not worried about that just yet let's keep going here so looking at some real world examples of paddle boats they're actually a very boxy boat they don't have too much of a front like on normal boats so even doing this is probably a little bit overkill because they really are they really are just like kind of like a raft on the water with a paddle in the back i'll give you an example on the screen right now so i'm gonna add a little bit of a front end to this but i'm not gonna go crazy with it because uh the real world counterpart is not crazy either so yeah we're just adding 
this little thing to it, and we're gonna go all the way up. I guess we could do one more. Oh, actually, that's totally wrong. What am I doing? Move that out one, and there we go. That's actually a pretty aggressive front. What's gonna be hard is there's no angle, or the, I guess they're technically called inverted triangles. Uh, there's no blocks to really make angles on this, so the front's gonna always look weird. Uh, that's just something I'm gonna have to deal with. Hopefully, we can do some sort of design here that makes it look somewhat good. So there we go. We got that. That's going to be how big our boat is. Obviously, we gotta add some more flooring to this. So we're just going to do that right now. And I'm getting a little worried. This thing might get pretty damn heavy. So we might have to add more buoyancy blocks at the bottom. Benefit being we have lots of space down there for that reason. So there we go. We'll do something like that. And again, it's boxy. So we're going to have these nice big sides too. Um, I might cut them off a little bit. But for right now, we'll keep them like that. And we'll see what it looks like in the end. Okay, so I'm getting some sort of design going again. This isn't going to be perfect because the, there's not enough blocks in here to make this perfect. But uh, I've added a little bit more to the side here. We're extending this along, as you can see. Um, I'm still kind of stuck at what I want to do. I think what I'm going to have to do is kind of have a flat front here, which is what looks to be accurate to the real world counterpart. So I think we're going to kind of follow this line that I already got going on and go all the way down with this. So with that in mind, I'm going to expand out this side, expand out that side, and again, we'll build upon this, but it's coming together good, as you can see. We can technically just go like this, because this is already connected. Yeah, I don't even need to add any more parts in there. That's actually perfect. All right, you know what? I think I'm just going to delete these two poles here, because I don't really need them. And then we're going to expand out that and expand out this. And we still got a really small hole here. We can cover that up, but this looks... it looks okay. It looks pretty good. Now, obviously, we can fill this in very easily as well. So let's do that real quick. We're just going to use the two blocks for this. It should be easy. Bam, bam, and then bam. Done that side. Can we... No, you know what? I'm just going to copy this and move it over because it's probably going to go in the middle of the boat. All right, and then we'll just double up this. And there we go. We got some, uh, some pointy parts, but honestly, with the limited amount of blocks that we have, I'm really happy with that. Now, let's save it once again and see if this is too heavy now. I did add some more buoyancy blocks inside of it as well, so hopefully we should be good. I added more to the front more specifically. Oh yeah, you can see there's a little bit of weight in the front now. So we might want to add like one or two more buoyancy blocks up there. It's bouncing, man. It's definitely more than stable enough, but I'd like to keep it flat in the water if possible. Actually, now that I think about it, because we're going to be building so much on the back, I think the weight will kind of even itself out. Because we have to add the wheel back here, you got to remember, and we also have to detail the top of the deck and whatnot. So... Yeah, I guess we're, we, we have the hole completed. Now to the hard part of building some sort of wheel. All right, so what we're going to do is use these small grid blocks, and we're going to put them at the top of our boat here. I might actually add another row here, because I kind of want these out of the water, obviously. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll do that. Let's add, before we get to this, let's add uh, a thing around the boat. Now, usually these paddle boats, they're, they're for, for transferring people. They're usually like three or four floors. I'm not going to go that crazy. This is going to be a one-floored boat, but I am going to try and detail it a little bit. So we're going to add some sort of wall system here. Actually, I wonder if I could use these uh, and then lift them up a little bit. So it's kind of like a, a, a guardrail, you know? So if we put this over here like that and then lift it up, and then we can use this, or it kind of looks like a guardrail. And then you know what we could do? We could use these posts as well. We'll just duplicate that. Oh, yeah, this is going to look good. There we go. It's all about the details, guys. And that should be... How am I going to do the back here? You know what we can do? We'll just uh, use the little dude. Oh, crap. I, I need to pull there, but we can uh, totally do that. And then in the front and back, we don't have space to add the little poles, but I think it still looks pretty good anyway. So we're just going to do that. And now I want to add sort of like a captain's quarter. So the captain's quarter is going to be... For this boat, we're going to put it in the back. It looks like it's it's a mixture of in the back and the front in most of these uh, designs that I'm looking at. So you know what? Actually, we're going to delete this wall because that's going to be just a room, right? So we'll add some walls to this thing, and we might even do some windows here. So yeah, we're going to have to get rid of this. That's totally fine. And we'll just keep going with these things. This is going to look really cool. I'm excited. It's, I haven't done like a realistic build, so this is something totally new, and uh, this definitely excites me. Of course, we need a roof on our place as well, so I'm going to use this, uh, this actually might be perfect, I don't know. We'll see here, how much space do we have? Oh, we're going to need a little two-block in the middle that's going to look good anyways, so there we go. 
Uh, we, we have some curves to our boat as well. I was I was thinking about actually making a platform on top as well, but I kind of like the idea of a roof instead. What the? How did I duplicate this? I'm clearly uh, losing my mind here. So there we go. Got that. Got that. We'll just go all the way. Whoa, why'd you go that way? All right, there we go. It wants to be on that side. That's totally fine. And bam, there we go. And of course, fill that bad boy in with this little guy. So there we go, like so. Oh, that looks great. And then obviously we need like a door in here. I don't, you know what? I don't even think I'm going to have a door. I think I'm just going to have windows. Uh, obviously in the real world, there should be a door there, but uh, there's actually no doors in this game. So it's like, I don't really know what I could do. So what I'm going to do, any, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Is this a three tall? Please don't tell me this is three tall. I'm pretty sure it's four. Yep, no big deal. So I'm going to do that there. We're going to duplicate that, but we're going to move this right in front of my view, of course. That doesn't really make sense, right? But that, that's how it's going to work. You watch, it, it will work great. And then we're going to duplicate that again and just put this guy here. And then, obviously, I want some windows in this thing. So we'll put the little blocks inside there. One up top, one up the bottom. And, uh, yeah, this place is not going to have a door. But, hey, that's just a detail we don't need right now. And uh, I, I, I can jump on the boat anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I think I'll put a door or a window. Well, definitely out the back, I want a window. A nice big window in the middle. So let's get rid of this and get rid of that. And then we're going to just cover this bottom part because it's covered anyways. Because my cockpit's there. And there we go. We got a nice window right out the back. And we'll do the same thing on the sides here. We'll do smaller windows on the side. Just these uh, two by two windows here. So we'll just fill in that little hole. And bam, this is coming together, man. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling really good, actually. Now, I need to hide all this and whatnot. Uh, I'm still getting really worried. I added a lot of weight to this thing again. So once again, we'll save it. We'll see how it floats in the water now. I think we might run into issues now, but like I said, I added the extra space just in case we run into issues. Wow, amazingly, that actually looks amazing. So let's get on to the actual propulsion of this thing. So we're going to, again, lift this slightly out of the water. So our water line's gonna be like right between here and here. So right up there should be good. Now, I don't know how big I'm gonna make the wheel, so I just wanna make sure there's enough room between me and the boat uh, if we do design a big wheel here. So this looks pretty good right now. Now, the only way or the main way that I know how to do this is with a helicopter engine. There's no way to actually, which is something I wanna complain about. There's no way to connect to wheels. I mean, yes, you can connect to the wheel, but if you connect to this on the other side, it will spin. You cannot like weld something to the wheel so you, you have a, a, a rotation going. So basically, whatever you connect to the wheel utilizes the bearing of the wheel to spin as well. So that's something I can't use. I did try and do that uh, before I recorded this episode, just figuring out what works. The best thing that I found was the helicopter engines. Uh, you can also make these things go extremely fast, and fast is fun. So we only have one connection point here, but we're going to do that. And I also will do it on the other side as well, obviously. And I think I might add like steering with these as well. So I'll put these on different controls. That way, if we want to turn around, I can put one wheel going forward, one wheel going backward, and we can turn utilizing that as well. All right, so the big question is, what do we want to use as a paddle? We have a couple options here. We can use the wings, the tail fin probably. I kind of like the look of the tail fin, so I think I might use that. It's not going to look realistic to the real world counterpart, but I think it will look really cool. So what we want to would want to do is rotate this like that. Is that going to fit in there though? You know what I could do? I could put two on each and then have them kind of intertwined with each other. That would run into an issue if I did want to turn those. So now I got to decide, do I want to expand out this boat or not? Because that won't work, I don't think. You know what? Let's go back and how big is the modular wing? Oh, that's a pretty big guy too. So we might have to use the small guys. All right, honestly, I like the look of this too much, and we can always just simply expand this out and connect it to the side if it does work. So let's utilize these. We're going to put this guy on the other side of the wheel like that, and then we're going to, yeah, I guess, I don't, I'm a little worried about this. The, the physics in this game will be interesting to see how this reacts. So what we're going to try is going on the opposite ones with this, and hopefully they can stay in unison that way they don't hit each other because that's what i'm most worried about but check out how cool this is gonna look i i think these things will definitely hit each other because they're not connected on the same uh area as well we have one up and one down so 
Yeah, that looks really cool though. So we'll see if that works. Now, I don't think I need engines with the helicopter blades. Let's actually make sure I was customizing these. Did I keep it? Okay, so we can go all the way up to 10 and we can actually go down to negatives as well. We're gonna keep it at one for right now. We don't wanna go fast with this boat. We just wanna see if it works. So yeah, that should uh, at least make us go forward. We still gotta figure out how we wanna turn, but obviously we have to see if it even works first. So there we go. Let's throw that in and hopefully it floats. Hopefully the, the uh, helicopter engines are not too heavy. My God, it's laggy, that's for sure. Okay, helicopter engines, as you can see, ooh, definitely heavy, but it should work for right now. We can work on, make oh God damn it. <laughs> okay. That was my bad. I think I have these either... Well, no, because they're backwards for, from each other. So we have to flip one of the controls around. So we'll make that SW and the other one's WS. They should go the same way now because they are mirrored, right? So there we go. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> no, come on. Oh, that's what, that was, that's what I was worried about. It would just push it right under the water and flip it around. All right, first option for me is to try to just simply add more buoyancy into the back and see if we can maybe counteract the pushing downwards of the boat. Uh, that might work. It'd be the easiest fix, so that's what I'm trying first. We might have to maybe even move the paddle to the front as well. That's another option at least. We'll see where we go with this added buoyancy. So there we go. Uh, it, at least it floats. Damn it, I didn't mean to... Oh, man, I can't even control Z in this game. But yeah, like I was saying, at least it floats. That's uh, that's more than I thought we'd be at at this point of the video. So we, we got that going for us. We might have to make this thing extremely slow. All right, very buoyant as you can see. We shouldn't run into an issue with that. Oh, man, it just, the way it works, I think we have to make sure there's only one paddle in the water or it starts just going underneath the water and that happens. So we don't want that. These things might not be the best paddles either. I did test it out. Look at this, I'm going backwards. That doesn't even make sense. I'm actually reversing right now while I'm pushing forward in the water. Well, hold on here. I'm assuming that's because of the wind. Now I now I just sunk the boat. So this is, this is gonna be a challenging build, guys. All right, I switched to the small modular wings. Now I tried it with just two blades and that didn't go well, but I'm curious to see how four blades react. So let's just reset this so it's nice and straight and we'll give her a go again. Ooh, that's better. That's definitely better. I know, I know, I know that's surprising considering we sunk in two seconds, but um, that's actually way better. You know what? Again, this is not about speed, at least for right now. So let's try and maybe slow these things down as well. It might just be the fact that we're getting too much speed. You got to remember, these blocks are designed to fly. So it's probably thinking that it's supposed to be flying. Now, of course, I can't get 0 0.5. So let's try 0 0.4. Let's go really slow. I was hoping for 0 0.5, but hey, be beggars can't be choosers. There we go. And let's reset it again. All right, please tell me we can just... <gasps> that was the issue! That's all it was, and we're actually going... Oh my god, this is amazing. We're actually going decently, like 12, 13. I kind of want to see how fast we can get this going now. It's going to be so hard to go fast with this, but my god, this works freaking perfectly. And you know what? Now that we have these different blades on, I can actually easily make this thing turn as well. Let's see if the physics are there to do this, though. So what we're going to do is basically make tank steering for this. We want each of these on different controls so we're going to configure this with s and w and then yeah so this will be s and w or w and s in this regard which is fine but the other one is going to be e and uh d so we got these side by side e and d s and w that's because the other one's mirrored that should be good so now we need to press two buttons to get it going forward which is very easy to do. We'll just do that. Now, ooh, the unfortunate part is we have to do this perfectly, or if it goes any sideways, we might run into issues. What I'm worried about is when we actually try and turn, I think this thing's gonna flip. So, oh my god, what the hell was that? It, it's perfect at going straight, but when we actually try and get these things to go at different directions, it just sunk it right away, and I have no idea why. I mean, it has buoyancy. Oh, wait. Hold on. Do I have the buoyancy blocks on one of these? I do! Oh my god, that's my issue. Okay, so my buoyancy blocks, that's stupid. Okay, so I have my buoyancy blocks on S and W. The same thing as my throttle. And there's my damn problem. So I can either ch manually change all the buoyancy blocks or we can just move these to different controls. I think we'll be moving these to different controls. 
All right, so we're going to let her go forward. And again, it's a little bit wobbly at the start. Once both get rotating, though, you can see it's very, very stable. Now, the hard part's going to be turning. So I'm going to not try and uh, flip these things exactly around. I'm just going to stop one of them. So I'm going to try and turn. I guess technically it would be left right now. Oh, no, it would be right because it's inverted. But there we go. So we can definitely turn the boat with just using one. And then we can go back and powering it up. I want to see how fast we can go again. I Maybe we can get to 0.6 on the speed of these helicopter blades. That would be great. Now, let's try a hard turn. So we're going to reverse one and keep the other one straight. This will turn us directly around. Oh, my God. It's working perfectly. That that was my only issue. I was I was unbuoyancing my boat, and that, that's probably a problem. This is actually very, very good. It's amazing to see how s a small change like slowing these down by... Well, we actually slowed them down by over half. So it's a pretty big change, but it's amazing to see how much that affects it. So let's try... I'm going to go to 0. Point, obviously, 1.0 is not going to work. So let's go to 0. 0.8, see if it's doable. That should make this thing double as fast, at least from a horsepower standpoint. Uh, there might be some drag issues, though. So we'll see how fast we can go. Now, is it... Oh, that was the wrong button. There we go. All right, so we're going to give it a go again. Oh, 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 God. Oh, we're spinning. We're, why, why is it spinning sideways like that? You know what? Let's, um, let's try and straighten this out. There we go. Hey! I mean, it looks absolutely stupid. Okay, now that it's underwater, that's when it gets affected. I can tell right away. Once more than one blade is in the water, it totally screws up. So that's the issue I have. When we get going fast, it lifts it too much. It sinks one of the sides, and then the physics just go crazy on this thing. But yeah, it goes a stable 12 kilometers or miles an hour, and uh, I'm more than happy with that. So there we go. We got that. Let's add some detail to this thing, paint it up, and uh, see what we can design. And there it is in all of its glory, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, I decided to keep it orange. I know, boring, right? But uh, I wanted to add some detail to it because, uh, yeah, that's what it's all about. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's a nice little paddle wheel boat. Nothing too crazy here, but uh, this is exactly what I wanted. And I got to say, I'm extremely happy with it. It looks fantastic. And it's probably been my favorite build yet just because it turned out so good. And it actually does control very well as well, which is always very, very exciting. Exciting. So yeah, I'll have this in the uh, Steam Workshop, by the way, if you want to play it for, for yourself or design more upon it. Uh, link me in the description of this video, as always. Okay, and like I said, I wanted to build a speed focus design. Now, uh, I cut out a lot of my design process here because... Uh, evidently, it's very hard to make a fast craft that uh, has the propulsion like this. I have a good baseline here, though. Now, I'm not going to do too much else for this for today. Uh, this video is already getting pretty damn long, but uh, I just wanted to show you that it is indeed possible. You just need uh, a little bit of help here. So what I got designed right now, obviously, it needs some work, as you can see. But if we keep the jets in the front, keeping the front downwards, as you can see, <laughs> oh my god. We can actually get some serious freaking speed in this thing. I mean, we're going 70 on this thing. It's paddling like crazy, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to try and build something else now with this design in mind. Mind you, it took a lot of fine tuning and a lot of trial and error to get this thing stable. It was flipping backwards, it was flipping forwards, it was flipping sideways. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of our speed focus design here i wonder if we could turn with this thing let's at least try that because uh man that was <laughs> that was actually really fun okay so i'm gonna try and put this thing on tank controls and we'll see what happens okay i honestly doubt we'll even be able to start this thing it's just it's so i i, I need to widen it a little bit obviously but let's give it a, oh god i forgot to turn that on and that's what happens when you don't turn that on by the way guys so here we go three buttons 
Yeah, actually, not bad. Okay, let's try and turn. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. 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 Not bad. It can actually freaking turn. So this kind of excites me. I might build upon this then because uh, I didn't expect this to be an uh, accurate method of propulsion. But if you can keep the beast tamed as we are with these jet engines, it's definitely possible as you can see. Let's try a hard tank turn. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, hard tank turns don't work. You have to use one side or the other or both sides at the same time, not going in reverse. So, oh, I can still repair it. Look at that. Okay, well, that is pretty damn cool. So I just wanted to try this real quick. Uh, I'm not going to do any sort of major build right now, but uh, yeah, if you guys really like my other paddle boat and you want to see another one that's speed focused, I think we have a good baseline here in doing so. This is just... This is amazing. I love it. And you know what's perfect about the jet engines is the moment they go underwater, they stop working. So I can't, like, over push myself into the water. So it really is the perfect design here for speed. I, uh, I really, really like this. Gotta say, it doesn't compare to this thing, though. This is just fantastic, in my opinion. I mean, a paddle wheel boat is all about going slow. It's just really cool that we can actually uh, get some speed with this design as well. So, yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this build, trying a paddle wheel boat today. And, uh, yeah, by far my best design, both by looks and uh, actual controls. It works really, really well. Like I said uh, earlier, if you do want to download this for yourself, link will be in the description. Thanks so much for all your support guys thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one